Earlier this year, the game Hitman was released. As the title suggests, in this game you play as a hitman. At the beginning of each mission, you get presented with a single target you need to eliminate. It is up to the player to find a target and take him or her out whatever way possible. This can be done silent and efficient by strangling or choking the target out. Stabbing or hitting the target with a blunt or sharp tool. Or making it look like an accident by shoving the target off a tall building. It can be done loud and messy by blowing up the target with a bomb. Drowning him or her in the toilet. Or have something heavy drop on top of them, making it look like an accident as well. If you want to go for more of a classic Hitman feeling, you can take out the target with weapons like a silent pistol or a loud sniper rifle. Tell me you know it now. No. You do this in levels that take place all over the world, each with a drastically different setting. From a fashion show in a big mansion in Paris, to a popular tourist place at the beaches of an Italian village, to a hot, dusty marketplace in Marrakesh where protests have broken out. Though the game only requires you to take out a single target, it is up to the player to decide if other casualties are expendable. The game rewards you with a higher score if you only kill the specific target unseen, but does not refrain from the ability to kill all the security forces or civilians for that matter. If the target walks through a crowd, and the player does not mind civilian casualties, he or she can decide to blow up the target right then and there with a bomb. After the target is killed, the hitman needs to make his escape. If the target is killed in a silent manner, the hitman can escape without breaking a sweat. If the target is killed in a way that made it look like an accident, the hitman can escape as long as he does not do anything suspicious, as the civilians and securities will be on edge but do not suspect the hitman. But if the target is killed in the open area, or with a loud weapon, armed security forces will rush the hitman as he desperately tries to make his escape. Of course the target has an agenda of his or her own, and it is up to the player to study the pattern and find openings or moments where the target is vulnerable to be taken out. Sometimes the target will enter an area where certain people are not allowed. Sir, you're not allowed to pass. Sorry, access no access here. Please move on. In order to go through, the player needs to change into clothes of someone with the authority to enter that area. This can be a member of staff, like a waiter or janitor, or someone from security. By looking around, the player might stumble on a set of clothes lying in a locker, storage, or private room. If the player thinks it's too much of a hassle, he or she may knock someone out or kill them to steal their clothes before hiding the body from plain sight. In Paris, the target is a former fashion model and co-organizer of the fashion show held at his mansion. The target mingles through the crowd, sometimes stopping to talk to a business partner or acquaintance. He then enters the kitchen to talk a little bit to the staff, followed by him entering the lounge to enjoy a cocktail of his own. Here an opportunity is presented to poison the cocktail that he's drinking when nobody's looking. If the player decides not to kill him here, he will continue making his rounds, eventually leading up into the garden. Here he'll make a business call and for privacy reasons step away from his bodyguard. Another opportunity is presented. But if someone does not have the patience to follow the target all this time, he or she can take the target out literally the moment they come into contact with them. Chances are high though that this will be a highly public place and that armed guards will take out the hitman immediately after. I hope you got an idea of what this game is about. The objective is always clear. Take out a target. How, when, and where you do this is entirely up to you. In order to show how differently you can complete a level, Ryan and I each will try to take out a target in Marrakesh, Morocco. In this level, 
we need to take out former bank CEO Klaus Strandberg, who was on trial for billion dollar investment fraud, but he was freed by mercenaries. Now he's avoiding prosecution by hiding in the Swedish consulate. Our mission is to locate the consulate, enter it, and take Strandberg out. Yeah, there is essentially a big protest going on outside of the consulate, which it's pretty much just a bank, it looked like, that's being guarded by soldiers. It more or less looks like what America is going to be in about 10 years. As there's no time limit, I like to start the level by exploring it thoroughly. Uh, the marketplace is kind of a buzz with all these people selling their random crap, and it kind of reminded me of Indiana Jones a little bit. After a while, I came to the conclusion that the marketplace was too busy to take someone out and steal their clothes. In an alleyway, I found a little shop, and I managed to sneak up onto the roof. It's all part of the plan, as the Joker would say. Here, an unsuspected woman and security guard were walking around. When the security guard was not looking, I took out the woman. Question. Don't worry, I did not kill her. It's not my kind of style to create a bloodbath, unless I'm driven into a corner. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There you go. I then managed to take out the guard and steal his clothes, thereby giving me access to certain locations regular civilians could not enter. Ooh. Shortly after, I managed to take someone else out, this time an elite soldier, and stole his clothes as well. The elite soldier is able to get into areas that even regular security guards cannot enter. Purely by chance, I found an underground way that led directly into the Swedish consulate. Guess I entered from below. Ooh, this is going way down. I could have gotten in through the main entrance, but by exploring, we both found different ways in. The way I got into the consulate was I basically just hopped a fence. Uh, from there, I hid behind a tree and took out some dumbass guard that was just walking around, not really doing a very good job of guarding. I managed to get into the kitchen of the consulate and took out a janitor and a security guard. I used their clothes to walk around without anyone suspecting. While exploring the consulate, I heard over the intercom that Mr. Strandberg had requested a masseur up to his office. They got me thinking, and by chance I actually found the masseur in one of the rooms. I managed to knock him out and steal his clothes. I headed to the reception desk to confirm the appointment that the masseur originally had with Mr. Strandberg. For all they knew, I was the actual masseur himself. Connie Engstrom, masseur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Thank you. I was allowed to go up and got into direct contact with Strandberg. I could have taken him out then and there, but I decided to be patient. Finally, I located Klaus and this other guy he was talking to. And on my first little pass, I noticed that he kept going into this room and talking to this guy. So I figured I would reload the game and go in there and set up a proximity bomb. Well, it turns out this sideways asshole that kept going in the room before Klaus kept setting off the bomb, but eventually I got him. Target down. Next up, raise a down. We entered the massage room, and a security guard left for privacy reasons. Strandberg lay on the table without suspecting a thing. I started the massage procedure as Strandberg rambled on about his worries. When my hands reached his neck, with a quick snap, I broke it and left the room. <laughs> Hello. Happy. An unhappy ending, yep. Next up, raise the down. It was silent and efficient, and I was able to leave the consulate without anybody suspecting a thing. By the time they had found his body, I was long gone. Mission accomplished.